Hello, very good evening. In today's short tutorial, I will show you how you can print four pages on a single paper sheet to save the paper or for whatever purpose you basically want to print multiple pages on a single document. How you can do that? And there are two different techniques that you can adopt to do that. One being portrait mode and second being the landscape mode. So it depends exactly what your content is, whether you're printing slides on paper or whether your documents you are printing or whatever content there is, you can choose between these two different modes where you have four pages on a single paper sheet. Okay, so how you want to do that? Let me show you a very quick trick. But before we proceed, if you're here for the first time and you want to know about Windows tips and tricks, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, right? Or leave the comments down below. So let me know whether this tutorial will help you or what you understood and what you didn't understand, right? Let's begin. So let's just go back inside our Word file. So I have a dummy file created for myself. All I need to do is go inside the file, click on the print option, and there are default print options available. I'm sure you might be aware of it. The most important one is that you choose the portrait mode or the landscape mode. I will show you the difference of the both. So by default, we have something called a landscape mode. I will choose that. And then within the landscape mode, I will choose number of pages four. Now, this is where the magic happens. You need to choose four pages per sheet. In that matter, you can see you can print more pages as well. You can print two pages if you want, or you can go for something called four pages. All right. So for our sake, we choose four pages and I'm using printer to PDF just to show what's happening. So if I click on print, it will go save the file and I can say 4P and it will go print the file for me. So if I come back inside my documents where I've created this 4PF file, open it. This is what we get when we choose the landscape mode. All right. The same output that I showed you previously as well. So now you have, you can see on a single paper sheet, four pages are printed. But if you want to change the layout of it, so let's just go back inside the word file. You can come here, file, go into the print option again, and using the four page option, make sure to choose the orientation to be portrait. The portrait means that now your documents are in a portrait mode. Don't look here, it just messes things up. I don't know why, but this is just not an appropriate way. But if you look at the portrait mode, choose the four pages, make sure if you're printing all pages is done, click on print. This time, the output that you will get will be 4PO. If I just rename it, go back inside my folder, 4PO, this is what you get. And this is much better representation of what our pages are supposed to look like. Okay, so you choose a portrait mode and you use four pages and this is what you basically get. Now I'm told you this one before as well because maybe you go for more than four pages. There is an option inside your print option that if you choose printing and uh, if I go in the file, go inside the print option, you can print eight, six pages or eight pages. Now whatever number of pages you want to print, maybe you're printing cards or stickers or whatever purpose do make sure you check this portrait or landscape mode out because only then you would be able to get the appropriate output as you like. So if you're choosing something like, for example, eight pages. Now, in this case, the portrait mode wouldn't work. The landscape would be more appropriate depending on the content you want to print on. So do play with these two buttons, eight or four pages, and it should do the trick very simply and easily. So this is in our case, four pages. In this particular case, I would go for a portrait mode over four pages. I hope this helps you. Leave your comments below if it helped and what you want to know and what you don't want to know. Subscribe that button, please. So help us, encourage us, and we'll be posting more regular tutorials on this channel. Ciao.